Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here. It is exactly 3.45 a.m. Monday, December 30th, 2013. Uh, kind of off for New Year still is part of the reason I'm up this late. Uh, it was the final day of the NFL season. Uh, things didn't go as I had hoped for the Cowboys, but uh, nonetheless going to try to have some fun here. Where we left off, it was part 32. I'd introduced uh, Series 3 Knockout Tariff, and namely because I was going on down the line. Uh, we took care of our swappers. We got the legendaries done. Uh, then we moved into the Adventure Pack, uh, Tower of Time with Popthorn. Then we did the... Uh, Fiery Forge Battle Pack. Uh, that, of course, we took care of Jolly Bumble Blast, then Bumble Blast, then Knockout Tariff, and essentially now what I'm going to do, something I have looked forward to for quite some time. Uh, I have played this character very briefly, but it was on the Nintendo 3DS version, so uh, should be you know similar but somewhat different here. That said, uh, I actually gotta get to where I can reach everything. I've got Enchanted Hoot Loop on the portal. You can actually see him there, uh, the pause menu. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull him. This is a really cool feature. Uh, I'm probably the only person that will bother mentioning it. But if you saw Skylander disappeared from that, uh, SSA and Giants, if you were to do this, you know, you'd like it the game spazzing out, demanding you put the Skylander back, but uh, who I'm going to introduce now, brand new Skylander Swap Force character, a Swap Force Newlander, if you will, hails from the Earth element, that should give it away for you, uh, of course we've already introduced uh, Slobbertooth, because Dark Slobbertooth was in the Dark Edition starter pack, so without further ado, I am putting Scorp onto the Portal of Power. Uh, he seems like one of those characters you're probably going to need to play with him quite a bit to see which attacks you like the best and then kind of take it from there, but uh, we'll go ahead and introduce him. You'll kind of probably see what I mean, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, back out of here. King of the Sting! Uh, Doug Freshly got ourselves a new accolade here. This is literally the first time he's ever been on this portal. Uh, we haven't used him. I've actually had him in one of my Power A cases, uh, so I guess my nephew probably had not seen him go for Battle or something. Uh, same with Countdown, Riptide, Star Strike, a couple of the other characters, but uh, looks pretty cool. Um, his slogan, of course, King of the Steam. Now, uh, if he seems quick to you, I guess on Monday you get plus 10 speed, so that kind of skews moving about here at the uh, you know, grounds. Jumping? Pretty impressive. Uh, got nice mechanics. He kind of reminds me of the uh, squid. Uh, just kind of like the way he lurches around. Uh, primary attack is going to be Emerald Crystal. Supposedly, I think this like sticks to anything. Walls, enemies, the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and press Y going this direction. Um, okay. And then it blew up. Got the sheep. And <laughs> it blew up. Uh, so apparently it will hone in on enemies. You can see it going there down towards the treasure. Uh, pretty... The car. Just from here, uh, that training dummy way on the other side will probably hit the ship. Uh, got, got some nice range. It does 10, and then when it blows up, it looks like it does 10. Uh, the cool thing is you can basically just spam this thing. Uh, you see some 15s and 30s there, so it's essentially a 10 to 20, but that 10 can sometimes be a 15, and 20 can sometimes be a 30. Uh, Pretty cool little attack there. Now his secondary attack is going to be called the Tail Steam. I uh, believe it uh, gets the ground, so I'm going to try it. Pretty cool looking. Let's see what it does to these guys. Oh, and look what it does. That's, that's pretty neat. I'm going to step back and see if he's got a radius to it. Uh, not quite that much. Alright, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10, 15. Yeah, I'm gonna try to just count the separate. <laughs> I'm getting like seven. Let me try. It. 
yeah, I'm thinking seven overall. Uh, we're gonna have twelve initially and then sixteen. As it looks like. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, only catches. It looks like it's gonna take a while before. What I like best right now is Emerald Crystal because it's got a really nice range to it. Uh, with that said, we should probably quit messing around here and come and take a look at the stats. I've, of course, been looking at them because I'm playing on the Wii U and have the gamepad. But, uh, no, we're actually not. We're going to go to collection. My apologies. Uh, we'll come over here to Spyro's head. As you can see, 36 overall, 4 in the Earth Element. That's where we're headed. Uh, right there, beside Slobbertooth, Dark Slobbertooth, and Terrafin, we have the Man of the Hour, Scorp. Slogan again, King of the Sting. We're going to go ahead and read his bio. Scorp was raised in the Salt Flat Islands, an endless flat plain of rock where every day is very hot. Uh, so basically a desert. Uh, to keep themselves entertained, the residents live for the sport of Stingball. An extreme game that only the strongest play to become King of Sting, a title Scorp had won numerous times. During his last championship game, the opposing team cheated by using an enchanted water gym to make it rain. But the spell got out of control and soon a raging thunderstorm flooded the land. Using his powerful claws and incredible agility, Scorp bravely battled the rising waters to retrieve the gym and hurl it far into the clouds, breaking the spell and saving everyone. Seeing how his abilities could be used for more than Sports Scorp soon sought out and joined the Skylander. So, cool story here, kind of reminiscent. Uh, Terrafin, you know, lifeguard became a boxer. Uh, night shift banned from boxing. Bouncer played robo ball. So, uh, kind of again one of those situations. Uh, lightning rod apparently is similar thing, kind of like in uh, Olympics gladiator type thing. That's of course it's not in his bio, but I've read a preview for the. Uh, third mask of power book kind of highlighting some of that stuff so it's actually at the back of uh Gilgrunt and the Mask of Power, if anyone wonders. I don't just, like, make this stuff up. But uh, We'll go ahead back out of here. And uh, what we want to do now is come in to Skylander. I always do my best. Uh, max health, 260. That's not the greatest we've seen. Speed, note that plus 10 there. He would box stock be 35 on Monday. He's a little faster. Uh, so if you ever have a bad Monday, uh, maybe you're doing time trials comes in handy. Uh, armor 18. Looks like he is going to get a significant bump there somehow. Uh, critical hit 8. That's actually a pretty good number uh, of what we've seen this time around. Elemental power 39 because he's got plus 14 overall likely from Slobbertooth and Knockout Terrafin respectively. So let's go ahead now. We'll back out here take a look at his upgrades. What I showcase to you first, I kind of like the looks of this one, Emerald Crystal. It did the 10 to 20, 15 to 30. Uh, press Y to throw a sticky explosive crystal. Secondary attack is Tail Sting. Press A to sting the ground nearby and poison enemies. That's the one that essentially dealt 12 and then uh, 6 rounds of the 10 if that makes any sense kind of hard to figure out how to word that anyway we're going to take a look at his upgrades pretty cool here because he begins with his tertiary attack uh, it's called boulder roll kind of uh, quintessentially tied in with the earth element hold x to curl up into a ball and roll around damaging enemies in the way of course bash comes to mind hopefully this picks up a little speed as well for us second purchased upgrade is called chrome Horror pace. Uh, that's, I'm assuming that's some like anatomical part of a scorpion or some terminology of ancient armor I'm not aware of. Uh, armor is increased. That's the cool thing. That's the main thing. Best part of this, it's not the soul gem and it's not tied in with one of the two paths. You actually get it right here from the get-go. Uh, new stone plating causes enemies' attacks to do less damage again huge asset having characters with the extra armor. Third purchased upgrade, Crystal Ball. That's a pretty cool name. Hold Y. That's making me think of uh, 
third eye blind too. Anyway, hold Y to charge a crystal attack. Release to smash two crystals together and throw a massive sticky crystal. That sounds complicated. Uh, we'll have to mess around with it, figure it out. Final purchased upgrade, Earthly Power. Press Y to throw a sticky explosive crystal that now does increased damage to an enemy. So, uh, kind of confusing on those last two, something we'll just kind of have to uh, purchase and test out for ourselves. Now, you essentially have two options. You're either going to upgrade the primary attack or the secondary attack. This top path, again, I don't ever know why it's the secondary attack but it's on the top but that's what this is uh... it is called stinger path fittingly because it upgrades his stings and the tail so uh... it begins with fuming fissure press a to strike the ground with a poison tail and cause a large shock wave that shoots out towards enemies that sounds pretty promising uh... second purchased upgrade down the uh... stinger path is going to be scorpion strike Poison from Tail Strike does increase damage again, can't argue with that. And the final upgrade down Stringer Stinger path is actually Potent Poisons. Press A to strike with a Poison Tail that now damages enemies over a longer amount of time. So, uh, that's probably, of course, going to tie in with like the 7 hits overall. You know, probably bumps that up a little bit. If you're not a fan of the Tail Sting or you feel like it's powered just fine or you're more interested in the primary attack, you'll want to come down here and take Crystal Venomancer Path. Uh, again, why it's not the top path is still beyond me since it's primary, but you see that from time to time. Uh, it begins with Cracked Crystals. Press Y to throw a powerful, sticky, explosive crystal. Uh, that is really uh, a mouthful there. That now does damage to enemies in a larger area. So that'll be a nice asset, I suppose. Second purchased upgrade down, Crystal Venomancer. Crystal Shards, uh, reminiscent there name-wise, Prism Break. Emerald Crystal Attacks now do even more damage. So pretty, yet so painful. Final upgrade for the uh, Crystal Venomancer path, Venomous Crystals, hence probably the Crystal Venomancer path name. When Crystal Ball explodes, it splits into two smaller crystals. Each new crystal does very powerful poison damage over time when it explodes. So, this looks like a character, obviously, uh, at least I am going to want to of uh, issue there, of course. Uh, he does have a chase variant. It's like the green goo, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's like a translucent green. Um, I've never seen one in person. Probably won't, but uh, maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, if not, we'll go a different route. But, uh, Soul Gym now, which can be found in Motleyville, is called Avalanche Dash. Hold X to curl up into a ball and roll around. Dashing now lasts as long as X is held. Probably doesn't sound like much, just for the simple fact it doesn't mention increased damage damage or speed, but you can essentially maintain that roll for as long as you want, which I personally think is a big asset. Would have been nice if it either A gave the speed or B did the power or you know or more damage or C both more damage and greater speed, but can't argue too much with that one. So uh looks like he's gonna be an interesting character. Uh both paths actually appeal to me. So we'll back out of here. We're gonna take a look at his quests. First six, pretty much basic, defeat a thousand enemies, eat food, uh, 15 pieces, you know. Uh, don't take damage, non-story mode, win 10 PvP. Uh, I like this one, get to level 20, get all his upgrades. If you hate Scorp, box stock, this encourages you to play him, upgrade him, and then see what you think. Deal 7,500 elemental damage. Now the two true, kind of like Earth-specific ones for me anyway. Savior of the land. Free the Terra Squid in the Twisty Tunnels without switching Skylanders. Uh, you're probably obviously going to have to replay that one quite a bit to cover all of your Earth element characters. Uh, then we've got Unearther. Use shovels to dig a total of 25 holes. Now the big one, uh, literally here, for Scorp himself is called Ticking Slime Bomb. Defeat 50 enemies from the poison explosion of your main attack. So, um, that shouldn't be too bad, but we're going to back out of here. Um, 
that's basically Scorp right there in a nutshell for you. Again, Swap Force Newlander hails from the Earth element. I think he's a pretty cool looking character. Uh, I'd really like to see that Chase variant in person. Uh, I think that's a, actually a really good choice for him. Uh, for example, a like purple translucent like we saw with Cinder that wouldn't really fit the character. The green actually does. Ties in nicely with the poison, you know, the venom theme, if you will. Uh, that said, I believe I will introduce Riptide next. Uh, then probably going to go into Countdown, then Roller Brawl, then I think we'll go ahead and we will hit Star Strike and Smolder Dash, and uh, then I'll enter into like a Light Core Warnado Flash Wing, then we'll get into Series 2s and Series 3s. So that's pretty much the definitive plan now. Uh, you know, so pretty glad to have that ironed out. But uh, once again, I'm excited about Scorp. I haven't really heard anybody uh, saying how great he is, and I hadn't heard anybody saying what a bad character he is. So uh, I guess it's like, you know, somewhat middle ground there on Scorp, at least in terms of fan chatter I have not heard. So usually if people hate a character, you hear about it, and usually if there's like some giant hypish rush or you know universal appeal somehow uh, I would have heard something about it but nonetheless you're probably gonna hear me talk a lot about him because he is earth element and I think he looks awesome so uh, I'll see how things pan out there but again we will be back I guess part uh, 34 I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Riptide so I'm looking forward to that too also I've played him very briefly in the 3DS version, he has also never graced the portal here in the Swap Force console version. But uh, that said, thank you for watching. I'm going to quit rambling and uh, make sure to subscribe. You can check out tons of Skylanders information on the blog, one of Weezum.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here for Riptide.